Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I wanna talk about the new focus mode on Samsung One UI 2.0 with Android 10. And of course, we are doing the demonstration here on a Samsung Galaxy Note 10, but you can also do this on the S10, and soon it's coming to the Note 9 as well. So let's do an in-depth look at the brand new focus mode, which is an awesome feature. It allows you to block certain applications so you can access them. As a matter of fact, let me give you a quick demonstration. If I go right over here, we have the focus mode. I'm gonna tap enable on it. I'm gonna show you what it does first and then show you how to set it up. So let's just say work time, click on start. Now, as you can see, all the applications over here have been grayed out and they're inaccessible because we are in the focus mode. So I'm not able to access these applications because I'm supposed to concentrate on what I'm doing and not waste my time with all these applications. So if I go to the app drawer, uh, other than the uh, actual apps that I have enabled, everything else is grayed out. So this is accessible because I set it up so, but this one right here, for example, if I wanna go to Fortnite and try to play that game, it's gonna say stay focused. It is blocked during focus mode, all right? So let's dive in and see how this thing works completely. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the settings right over here. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. I'm gonna go into digital well-being and parental controls. And as you can see, uh, if I tap on this one, at the bottom over here, we have the focus mode. Now it's titled, it says, ways to disconnect. So basically this is designed to avoid distractions from your phone and keep your life in focus. So let's enable one of these and see what it does. And also create a custom one over here after that to see how it works. So let's tap on work time. And what it says is, need some time to yourself. Focus mode helps you avoid distractions from your phone and keep your life in focus. All apps will be blocked in focus mode except for apps that you choose to allow. So if I click on start, let's see exactly what happens. So what they want you to do is they want you to choose the apps that you want to use even while you are in focus mode. So I'm gonna click on add right over here. So let's say that I wanna use this application here. Uh, let's say I wanna use the calculator application. Maybe I want the calendar and let's just say Chrome, okay? So I'm gonna click on done. So these four applications are gonna be accessible even while the other apps are locked out. So you can't access them such as Facebook, Messenger, YouTube, because they do waste a lot of time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on start. By the way, before I do that, we do have a button here. You can tap on this one and change the name of this particular focus mode. Right now, it's called work time. I can tap on change name and I can give it a brand new name or I can delete this focus mode. All these things are custom created for you guys so you can use them as you please. So let's click on start, okay? So it's saying we are focused for zero minutes so far and the four apps available here are in fact uh, these four apps that I can access, if I tap on this one, this is gonna be accessible. Uh, if I try to go back out, all these applications are grayed out. It says stay focused, all right? So I cannot access all these applications except for the ones that are in fact allowed, and the ones that are allowed actually come with a normal color. So that's uh, basically what the focus mode is. So let's see how we can end this. So if I tap on this one, I, can, I do have the option to end the focus mode because it's nice to have control. Now let's go back inside here, digital well-being and parental controls, and let's go back over here and click on add, okay? So let's give it a brand new name. So let's say before sleep, just a little uh, example here. I'm gonna click on save and then I can add applications. So before sleep, I wanna be able to access, and I'm just gonna uh, pick some random stuff here because I don't have all the apps I need over here. So let's just say eBay, a little shopping before you go to sleep, maybe check the calendar for the next day, and this one as well, and that's it, okay? You can pick as many apps as you want. You click done, again, you've got this right here, uh, and then what you can do is you can also edit it, you can change the names of it, delete it, 
or you can just click start, okay? So you can create your custom focus modes based on your needs. And when you're done, by the way, there's a timer in the middle here that kind of, this, this uh, dot over here is gonna fill the entire screen and it's gonna take uh, as long as it, the, the focus mode is running for. So I, I can't really tap on this one, but when I'm done, I'm gonna click on end the focus mode and we're back in business, okay? So once you create a brand new focus mode, you can go over here, uh, you can tap on this one, you can enable it, right? And then once you enable it, it's gonna give you the option to pick from all the various focus modes that you have actually picked up. All right, so that was an in-depth demonstration of the new focus mode on the One UI 2.0. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.